we want Battlefield as it is, or let's say as it was back in the good days, like back in the days of Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So as you guys probably know, there is a time limited special event ongoing right now in Battlefield 2042 and it's called Future Strike, bringing us a game mode called Strike Team, which is literally just a competitive version of Battlefield 2042. Like obviously not everything it looks like Rainbow Six Siege, but at least the interface and uh, what they tried to do with the game mode just appears to me like Rainbow Six Siege the player count thing, there are so many things, that the droning things, all that kind of reminds me of my good old Rainbow Six Siege days. Anyway, today we are here to ask ourselves a very important question, okay? Is competitive Battlefield really a thing? Like, should it be considered a separate game mode in the future? Like, the next Battlefield game is coming out in 2025, it's next year. Is it going to be something that they need to take in consideration? like having some competitive game mode separately for the game. So that's the big question that we're gonna answer in today's video. Also, you're gonna have my thoughts about the Future Strike event, its pros and cons, and everything that's good and also bad about the Strike Team game mode. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to remind you that liking the video will really help the channel and probably you are one of those guys watching this video who are not subscribed because 95% of my viewers are actually not subscribed. You guys gotta change those numbers, man. I'm telling you, that's not a good percentage at all. Like 95% of my viewers not subscribed. Why don't you consider subscribing, dude? And all it takes a click, right? So go ahead and do that as well. With all that said, let's jump right into the video. So first of all, let me start with my thoughts about the event. As I've said before, according to the gameplay trailer prior to releasing it, I was like, so this is obviously a competitive mode of Battlefield. It's gonna look like other competitive titles. And it was all true. It looks just like Rainbow Six Siege in so many aspects. Somehow it reminds me of some other competitive games. But, you know, Rainbow Six Siege is the one that like literally comes to your mind. There are some pros and cons about it. So I'm just gonna start with the good aspects of the game mode. So in my opinion, the interface design was cool. Like that player count kind of reminds me of uh, my good old Rainbow Six Siege days. When someone dies, it instantly tells you that that player is dead. Now your team has three players, their team has like two players. And it's exactly like Rainbow Six, like exactly like I remember it. Uh, the shock rounds are also a creative idea. For you guys who don't know, shock rounds are rounds that the game literally gives you a completely stock weapon and that stock weapon will be in your hands for the entire time you're going to play that round with that stock weapon every single player in that round will have the same weapon as you i do believe it was creative because it kind of makes a difference you know like you don't always play with your best weapon like your best setups that's something good i do believe but it could be even more exciting if everyone would get some different weapon you might get a scar the other one might get a pistol that would be just unbalanced as duck i'm pretty sure about that and that would have pissed off a lot of people but this event is just for fun you know nobody goes there to try hard so it could have been like that not balanced but definitely fun these shock rounds in my opinion are i would say interesting however they absolutely go against the competitive nature of this game mode. like i said it's just for fun and competitive battlefield is literally just for fun even in this game mode. but if you want to look at it from a competitive shooting perspective then shock rounds just mean nothing like competitive shooters are to try hard to be your best you know you can't be your best with a stock weapon and there's also one more thing that i liked about this event and that's the fact that you couldn't pick a repetitive specialist like you couldn't have two irishes in the team that was also interesting because in a small map size like that like having two irish players that's just gonna ruin everything and that was something clever, to say the least. But there are some huge bad ideas and downsides to this game mode as well. Now, let's go over them one by one. In my opinion, the map size was just too small. Let's face it, guys, it was too small. You can literally spawn kill people with a TGM. And that's just ridiculous, in my opinion. The map size was just too small. Or let me interpret this some other way. Maybe those objectives were not meant to be for a competitive mode. Like, I'm pretty sure the No Shy Canal objective is like just too crowded, you know? Eight people between all those containers and that's just gonna ruin the fun. Like the location in every map could have been selected with a bit more focus, I would say. But yeah, the map size is too small. Making the rounds end too quickly. That is another issue. And that's a really big issue for this game mode. The rounds end so quickly that it literally takes like 30 seconds. 
for every round. I'm not going to talk about Rainbow Six here anymore, but let's talk about Counter-Strike. You can't just finish a round in 30 seconds. You just can't. But that was exactly the issue with Strike Team. The rounds end so quickly that you can't even use some game mechanics like spawning as a drone. I don't remember ever spawning as a drone in this game mode. Because the moment I die, that's it. The round finishes in like 10 seconds. You don't even have time to spawn as a drone or give your teammates callouts and stuff like that. And also Battlefield 2042's gameplay is just too fast for a game mode like this. Let's face it guys, we already know that 2042's gameplay is fast. One thing they did about it was removing the tactical sprint. When you press your sprint button twice, uh, that's gonna activate the tactical sprint when you sprint faster they remove that from the game but that's not the solution you know the core gameplay of battlefield 2042 is just too fast too fast for a battlefield game let alone a competitive game and there are so many lessons here to be learned so many lessons here to be learned both for you guys as battlefield players for me as a battlefield player as well just like you and for dice as the developers of this game those lessons literally answer my question and probably your question as well. The question was, is competitive Battlefield something to take advantage of for the next feature title? But based on my own experience in other competitive titles, in this game mode, and in Battlefield in general, the answer to that question is a big freaking no. There is no way they can do that. And they've been working on this event for at least a month, right? We did know that a Future Strike event is going to go live a month ago. So they've been working on it at least, at least for a month. And that's what they deliver. I'm not saying it's a bad event or anything like that, but you can never consider this a good competitive game mode. Never. Because DICE has always been making Battlefield games. You just can't expect them to give you a competitive shooting game mode with everything being in its place and everything being perfect. You just can't expect that. And we, as Battlefield players, we don't. Just like I don't stand for Battle Royale Battlefield, I just don't want to stand for a competitive Battlefield game mode in the future. If it's a limited time event, that's good. It's like fun, you know? People play it for fun, like a few rounds with your friends and then you go back to Conquest, just like every other event of Battlefield 2042, let's be honest. But if you want to make it a separate game mode, something like Rush, something like TDM, separate game mode, I am absolutely against that. Battlefield needs to be immersive and massively multiplayer. We're not doing any four versus four or eight versus eight or anything like that. We're not buying into that. Because if I wanna go back to my pros and cons about the event, as you guys probably noticed, everything that was good about this event was like basic things. But the core elements of every single competitive shooter was missing. Having enough time to make use of your equipment, having big enough map size, having a gameplay pace that actually makes sense, like Rainbow Six Siege gameplay actually makes sense because that game has to be slow. You're breaching into a house, uh, there's CQB all over the place, there are so many angles to be considering. There's no way I can accept that as a competitive game. It was just something for fun. We had our fun. It was boring for so many people, including myself. I just didn't want to go back to it after five, six rounds. I really didn't want to go back and play that anymore. I was like craving conquest because we're Battlefield players. I'm pretty sure so many people are bored just like me playing this event because these events are not meant for Battlefield players. We want Battlefield as it is, or let's say as it was back in the good days, like back in the days of Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. But yeah, that's everything I had to say about this game mode and about this event, about competitive shooters, all that. If you guys have anything to add to today's video, if you think I'm wrong somewhere, or if you just have any other idea, it doesn't matter if you agree with me or not, just comment down below. And we're gonna have a discussion down there and that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope it was helpful. And until next time, guys, stay cool.